But let's start with uh, Ronan McDaniel. Well, there's not a whole lot to say except good riddance, bye-bye, better late than never. This woman has been a complete disaster for the RNC, so I'm really glad that she's finally, finally out. Why she even ran for re-election, I have no idea. Um, but um, she has been a disgrace all the way through. And just look at the just look at the record that she's compiled. But beyond the record of failure upon failure upon failure, it's also a record of inaction. Ask a simple question: Can you point to identifiable, measurable uh, gains that the RNC has made in the grassroots mobilization or? Uh, fighting voter fraud, making it impossible, uh, or at least very, very hard to cheat. Um, are there going? Is there going to be surveillance on every mail-in drop box in 2024? Answer: I don't know. It's in the election rules. Why the RNC hasn't insisted upon this simple provision of the rules? I cannot tell you, except that the answer is Rona McDaniel. Now, there's apparently this new guy, Michael Watley or Waitley, coming in. Uh, Laura Trump uh, may, will probably be the co-chair of the RNC. Obviously, they have a lot of rebuilding to do and not a lot of time in which to, in which to do it.